Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In this tutorial, I'm gonna be teaching you guys how to play Loafers by Boy With You. So this song was suggested by this person. If you guys have any more song suggestions, be sure to drop them in the comments below. But yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so starting off, we're gonna be learning the chords of the song. So we are gonna be dealing with a few bar chords here, but if you do have a capo, I will also run through playing these chords with a capo, which will help a little bit and reduce the amount of bar we actually have to do. But I'm gonna just run through it without the capo first for you guys. So first of all, we have our E flat minor. So we're gonna be placing our index finger on the first fret, fourth string there. Next, our middle finger is going on the second fret, third string there. Then we have our ring finger going on the third fret, first string up there. And lastly, our pinky is going just underneath that ring finger on that third fret, second string. And playing all those strings together, that gives us our E flat minor. Another way I do like to play this chord, especially for this song, is instead of just placing our index finger on that first fret, fourth string, we're barring that first fret instead. This will just make it a little bit easier to move on to our next chord, which is also a bar chord, which is our B. So after playing that E flat minor, barred, we can instead just slide up one fret like that. So now our index finger is barring that second fret. And for our B, we're gonna be placing our middle finger on that third fret, second string there. And lastly, our ring finger is going on that fourth fret, first string there. And that's our B chord. Moving on to our next chord, which is again a bar chord, we have our G flat. So now we're gonna be going down one fret, so sliding down. And now we're gonna just lift off that middle finger. So now we have that index finger bar in that first fret and our ring finger on the third fret, first string there. And we're just gonna add our middle finger onto that second fret, third string instead, like that. And all together, that's our G flat chord. Moving on to our next chord, we have our D flat. So now we're gonna lift off both that middle and ring finger. So we're gonna keep our index finger barred on that first fret. Then we're just gonna be adding our pinky on that fourth fret, fourth string there. And that's our D flat. And for our final chord, we have our B flat minor, where we're gonna now lift off that pinky. So now we're still barring that first fret and just placing our ring finger on the third fret, first string there. And that's our B flat minor. Like that. And that's all the chords of this song. So running through is one more time. We have our E flat minor. Or if you'd like to play it as a bar chord. Then we have our B. Then our G flat, our D flat, and lastly, our B flat minor, like that. And I'm also just gonna quickly run through playing them with a capo instead. So if you do have a capo lying around, you can make playing these chords a lot easier. So we'll place our capo on the first fret like that instead. So now, to play our E flat minor, we're placing our index finger on that second fret, third string there, our middle finger on that third fret, first string, and lastly, our ring finger is also going on that third fret of the second string there. And the capo will bar that chord for us, which gives us our E flat minor. Then moving on to our B, this is the exact same before as we do have to bar this chord. Like that. Then we go to our G flat, where now we're just placing our index finger on the second fret, third string there. And our middle finger is going on that third fret, first string there. So that's our G flat. Then we have our D flat. Um, so we'll be placing our ring finger on that fourth fret, fourth string there and the capo does the rest of the job for us. And lastly, our B flat minor, where we're just placing our middle finger on the third fret first string there. 
like that. So that just helps us out a lot more now. So we can go. Like that. And yeah, that's it for the chords. So now that we've got the chords down, we can jump into the strumming. So regardless of whether you're using a capo or not, it doesn't matter because obviously the strumming pattern is going to be the exact same. So starting off, we're going to be playing our E flat minor. So the chord progression is going to be in the same order I taught the chords. And for our E flat minor, our strumming pattern is going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, like that. So it's pretty much just down, down, up, up, down, up two times. So down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, like that. Then we move to our B chord and we're doing the same thing. We're going down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up. Then we're moving to our G flat chord and once again doing the same thing. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, now, when we get to our D flat chord, we're only going to be playing that down, down, up, up, down, up once. So we're going down, down, up, up, down, up, followed by our B flat minor, which also just plays that once through. Down, down, up, up, down, up. And yeah, that's pretty much the chord progression. So now putting that together and going a bit quicker now, it's going to sound a bit like this. So we're going E flat minor. B flat, B flat minor, and repeats. Just like that. And quickly, I'm just going to also run through what it looks like playing it with the capo. So we're going. Just like that. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to loafers. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you found it a little bit helpful, be sure to drop a like and subscribe. And once again, if you guys have any more song suggestions, be sure to drop them in the comments below. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one.